husband, um, a pet consumed the supply of birth control. I see. You guys have a goat you keep in the bedroom? That's a dog. Ate the condoms. Ate the birth control pills. The, um, and those were your birth control pills or hers? Hers. I see. The good news is is you can uh, bang the bejesus out of the dog without worrying about it for a couple of months. You know the beauty of being a woman? It's like I saw my ex-boyfriend at a party. He was all over this chick. So <laughs> I made a phone call. Yeah, that's it. Pow. And I was having sex with this other guy about 15 minutes later. Well, about 18 minutes later because yeah. he got lost. Yeah. How many guys could, could yeah. even make anything close to that? Here's my story. My story's like I went to a party. I saw one of my exes having uh, sex or uh, getting it on with this other dude. So I went home and jacked on. <laughs> And cried. And cried. And how about the next night? River of semen and tears. <laughs> cry, cry me a river. <laughs> oh, cry me a river of semen and tears. Oh, my God. Semen and tears. That's going to be the name. Oh. Of, that's going to be the name of my, my uh, biography. Yeah. It's was finally written. All right. Let's talk to... Uh, we got to take a break, but hold on. Adam, you're 13? Yeah. Um, I want to know about masturbating with Gak and if it's safe. You just you get gacks a buddy of yours from uh, from school? No. Really? What are you doing for a living now? I'm a glass blower. <laughs> I knew it. I take everything back. Who is this? Who is this guy? Glass? Is this his last name? <laughs> Mr. Glass. <laughs> Bob, to you, Bob Glass. No, I make I make glass pipes. Yeah. I mean, oh, you got to be obsessed. You got to be obsessed with the drug to be just sitting there being idea. turned on by smoking. Hey, Joe. Yeah. You, can, you ever put that tube in your ass and fart into it? <laughs> All the time, man. I tell you, I'd give you all an, the time. No, he doesn't. I'd give him an extra ten bucks if I thought that bong or pipe had been blown from ass ass wind. Good times. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah. Colton. Yeah. You're fifteen. Yeah. What's up? Um. Well, I was paintballing yesterday. Paintballing. Yeah. That's uh, that's where you pull out and finish on the chick's yeah. face, I, mm -hmm. I think, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, in her ear? How does that go? Same thing as felching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you were, you... <laughs> is, is that, that's what you're talking All about, right? right? Colton, you're in a, a commando mission, right? Paintball? I like the term gender reassignment. It's like uh, <laughs> you know I, 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 I picture true. some gym coach with a whistle. All right, balls and junk. Yeah, penis, balls. Hey, quit playing grab ass. You're over there with the vaginas. You're swapping. You, uh, you, uh, labia, majora, and minora, clitoris, you're over there. It has a little you're on of the a, dude a, now. Of a CIA, FBI. Let's go, switch it around. FBI quality. Let's get to it now. Right? I've got all day. You've been sent to the gender reassignment camp. But wait a minute, I like my gender. It's too late. <laughs> you're you're going to be reassigned. Yeah, that was, it, it's, it's a strange terminology. It's really like you didn't have a vote. Yeah, Paul, you're 25? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Well, I got this girl, uh, you know, we dig each other. She wants to get into anal beads. You, you want, she wants to put the beads in you? Yes. And Whoa. I, I see, <laughs> what do you do? Do you have to eat the beads and pass them, or do you stuff the beads up there? Like, they put them no, in your ass you, you stuff them up out. there? I understand what? the pulling out part, but they never talk about the putting in part. I know, she wants to go in the exit, but, uh, you know, I dig her, and, uh, you know it'd be funny if she yanked on the anal bead and a lamp came off. <laughs> a genie. That'd be really funny. Yeah, but see, here's the here's the thing about the uh, fake vagina. Um, first off, they're they're huge. I don't know who uses these things. I mean, I guess if you and your buddy are using, it, but I was wearing this thing like a dinner bell. Oh, you, nice. you know what I mean? Like a like a triangle. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your was, penis was using it. Was the oh, it's not that. I went through three rolls of yeah. duct tape yeah, trying yeah. to thicken up the sizes <laughs> to get a little friction going on, just a little. That's right. I thought well, they were I'm sure small. there's sizes that you can buy. And then. Uh, oh. And it might have to do with yeah. the penis size. Yeah, my, mine had a. Oh, Adam, mine had Adam. a. No, no. <laughs> No, Vanessa, you're right. Mine, you mine had a had, a had an S on it, which probably means super big. Yeah, extra big. Yeah, super yeah. big. Adam, Adam. You should, you should and then flies. I should have broke down and bought the uh, the box spring mattress mount. Yes. You know that. Yes. Of I, I was just hanging on to it. I should have bought the, the mount. It goes between the mattress and the box Adam, spring. Michael. Yeah. What's up? I'm just wondering if it's possible to get married before you're 18 in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Only if it's to a family member. Probably possible if you're what they call an emancipated minor, I suspect. Do you but have... be that as it may, you basically... My... I mean, I know how to say this and be kind. <laughs> you're asking for trouble to get married. You're, you're, the, the probability of a marriage surviving at your age. How old's your girlfriend? 
Uh, she's 15. Yeah, the probability of marriage surviving must be very close to a definition of absolute zero. <laughs> Would you say? <laughs> Maybe a little lower. Yeah. Hey, Michael? Mm hmm Do you have emancipation? What's that? You know, where you can't cramp? No. No, you don't have that? Hey, how you doing? I, I have a question for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Yes, um, I was at the bathroom. It was like hours ago, somewhere around 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, I went in there. As I was peeing, I felt this uh, painful uh, sensation right. coming uh, out. Mm -hmm. Like it's just so it was stinking inside. So... Mm -hmm. I couldn't bear it, so I had to pee fast to get that pain out of my system. After I was done, it was like blood would just start dripping out. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, that's a bad time. Yeah. Uh, it's possible you have an infection. Are you sexually active? Yes, I am. Is it possible you got a sexually transmitted disease? Hmm? Is it, could you have contracted a sexually transmitted disease? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I always use a condom. All right, so that's less likely. And stones can form in your in your kidney, in the ureter, in the bladder, and when they oh, come is that out, what that is. It could be some sort of stone. Is it five fifteen running on time, Stephen? What's going on there? I'm picturing you moving your house off of the tracks, letting the train by, and then setting them back down on the tracks. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I live by a, tra a train track. No. I've been with 12 other people besides him, and no one's complained before. And well, he's I've, not complaining. I've never had this issue, and I mean, I don't, I don't know why. He well, has a 10-inch penis, and it's a He's a big and, boy. Yeah, and, you know, I don't know why, you know, if that has something Adam, to do with it. I think people would rather talk that recording than you. <laughs> so, it's 10 inches. Yes. Did, did you measure it? Did he measure it? We measured it together once. Wow. Well, see, I'm not... That's romance. That's huh? what you do when you have a big dork. You pull out the tape in the bedroom. I, I don't let uh, anything calibrated in the bedroom. Right. If there's a graduated cylinder, I'll smash it. Even uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, like in kids' rooms, they'll have that thing on the side of the, the door. Wall, yes, you know, yeah. that, uh, I'll tear that thing right oh, down sure. from someone else's Those house. Big, big rulers like that. You want the small ones. Yeah, I, I don't allow any measuring devices yes. to enter the, the bedroom. Yeah. So, 10 inches, really. Yeah, really. Oh, it's got to be nice. And, and 10 is it, ten's a, a milestone because, you know, 9 and 3 eighths, 9 and 7 eighths. I mean, it was a full 10, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's nice is to be an actual 10. He's Italian, you know? Yeah, yeah. Adam is, too. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, he took, that's what happened to my penis. He stole yours? I stole at least half of it. He failed tests or had physical problems or yeah. anything. He got jizz all over Scantron once it stuck together. <laughs> Wouldn't go through the machine. I no, never had that problem, sorry. Sure, you ever hear one of your uh, tests go through one of those Scantron machines? Ever hear them? Yeah, it makes a noise. Uh. Uh, hey, uh, here's what I'm saying. Hey, uh, <sighs> caller Drew, you ever hear that? No, I've never heard that. No. I, when, when I was in high school, I, I did the Scantron. I was... I was present when one of my scantron tests like in spanish went through the machine mm. yeah. and i was listening to the you know it's like 50 questions on the test and you hear this like t -t -t, you know this t -t sound each time there's one that's wrong mm. and they pass it through this thing like a computer card like an old-time computer right, card right, right. and um i saw like the three before me go through and it was like t -t 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 and it came out the other side. Yours was like no, no. mine just lit up like a Chris with a. I mean, it just. It was like it was crazy. I was like, I was humiliated. I thought the machine was broken or something. The smoke started coming out. The machine vomited on my thing. It wiped its ass. There was fecal matter on the scantron when it came out the other side. Private parts at you. <laughs> they keep a little store of fecal matter in the thing for the. For the for the uh, you know zero for the percentile that's for under ten percent. Offensively bad test. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, rub a stripe, a skunk stripe of fecal matter on the scantron oh, as God. it comes out the back. Amber. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, babe, sorry to bother you. Yeah. <laughs> what's what? happening? Um. Well, what's up with like me after I have sex? Well, sometimes mainly after I want to puke. Am I? sick of with the person I'm having sex with or is it some kind of like um type of like uh cat. muscle you got a you got a cat in heat back there? Well we're both in <laughs> we're in heat. You and the cat we're in Me heat. and yeah. the cat. Yeah I'm really hot. 
Hit nice. and love. Yeah. Hello. What do you mean you're really hot? I'm hot. hot. You know, like hot. <laughs> cool. Oh, I see. You know, Hold on. <laughs> we'll do a little love line reenactment. <laughs> I'm hot. What do you mean you're hot? You know, hot. Like, hot. Like you're hot? What do you mean? I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said we're in heat. We're in heat. <laughs> we're in heat. I'm, I'm hot. hot I'm hot. Yeah, it's still not. Now, she's calling from Arizona, yeah, which so is could, really confusing. Yeah, yeah. 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 You sweating hot? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still, it's still, it's unclear because when, when sexy chicks say, like, I'm gassy, it sounds like. It sounds, it sounds like, really? She's coming on to me. She told me she was breaking wind. I'm oh, gassy. Yeah. Amber. Hey. Yeah. It's what hard you, to bother you. What do you sorry. Yeah. Uh, what do you, sorry. What? Do you, what do you, now, you say you're hot. Just, oh. Well, so. What do you mean, hot? I feel just like my sh inside, like burning like in my chest and my body i can feel it it's hot almost right. like i'm having hot flashes i yeah. see but is it is it yeah, warm and feet, it's not febrile warm and, or is not, it hot in the environment you're sitting in no it, oh, it, it, it could be oh that's a straight that, well that, now, we now, now we know <laughs> so be. that makes it very I clear i have the heat on <laughs> you do all right. are you are you been drinking or are you intoxicated no. all right should yeah. i be drinking um, it's not cool. Right. All right, so you're you, somewhere. You, you're you're a hot chick who's uh, angry at her dad. Yeah, that's I what I get. Yeah, it. where's your dad? You're angry at men. What happened? Hmm. Where's dad? Fighting police brutality. <laughs> Put the cat on. It's actually <laughs> we, we might get more information. <laughs> we get a little more out yeah. of the cat. We might he's get more there, from. Oh. Is the cat hot? No, bring the cat. Oh, in. Oh, bring it. God. Bring the cat in, please. It'd, yeah. be, it'd be easier to communicate. It's like her. a David Lynch movie. Your, well, your dad is uh, fighting police brutality? Yeah, well, he goes out From there prison. with his camera. We, we place it on TV, different things like that. Uh, oh, I see. As you do. I see. But the police are out there, he tries oh. to get the caption of it. Oh, so, now is your dad... What they're doing, what they've done, like when I was, um, <laughs> when I was just newborn, the police jumped my dad. Right. They beat him up, and I have it on yeah. TV, DVD. No, my, my, yeah. I, it happened. We, we it happened. beating the... the no, my, my, I remember my parents were trying to get me home from the hospital. And, <laughs> the police uh, just jumped, <laughs> jumped the parents. Yeah, well, they my, do that. My mom was in the car. My I was, you know, in the swaddling clothes, yeah. and uh, she was coming in. out. She was in a wheelchair, yeah. actually. They're pushing her out, and uh, cops just flew out. Flew out from the bush, <laughs> beating the ass out of my yeah, mom. Of course. And you're Way dead. to do it. And you're dead. They, they, they do Keep that. Check. Yeah. And, Never mind that in Amber's case. One of them, as they're beating her, the only thing that stopped them is one of the guy's part. The guy's partner said, "Someone else is coming out of the hospital." <laughs> Quick, get him! Get him! <laughs> so the, one last kick to the midsection, and they're off to the next. And and they had twins, so they they got the beating of a life. I'm just imagine the Amber's dad is one of those guys out beating the neighbor's uh, <sighs> mailbox. You know? Yeah, just to toughen the little kids up to violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a tough world. It's a cool world. Yeah.